Question 1. Which species contains the same numbers of neutrons as the carbon-14 and the same numbers of electrons as the sodium ion? Okay, so first you need to identify the uh, number of this uh, neutron in the carbon-14. Proton numbers for the carbon is 6, nucleon number is 14, 14 minus 6, so the neutron number is 8. Sodium ion, because it's charged positive, so we just need to use the proton number, minus 1, so we will get the electrons number, which is 10. So now we need to compare all the species here, A to D, with these two numbers. N equal to 8, and the E is equal to 10. For the <coughs> foreign, so because it's given uh, the proton number and the mass number or the nucleon number, so the proton number we can we know that uh, is 9, neutron number is 17 minus 9, we get 8. Because this one is neutral, so therefore the proton number is same as the electron number. So the electron number is 9. So compared with these two, so therefore the foreign, not the answer. For the B, so we have this uh, nitride. So proton number is 7 and the neutron number is 16 minus 7. So you get 9. For the electrons number, because it's a 3 negative, so 7 plus 3, so you get 10. Compare with these two numbers, so neutron number not the same, electrons number same, so B also not the answer. For C, we have this uh, neon. Proton number is 10, neutron number is 20 minus 10, so it's same, 10. So electron number same as the proton number, also 10. Compare with these two, the neutron number not the same, right? So because it's A, it's supposed to be 8, but now it's 10. So the neon also not the answer. So for the oxide, proton number is 8, neutron number is 16 minus 8, so you get 8. So same numbers. And the electron number is, uh, because it's uh, 2 negative, so it's uh, 8 plus 2, you get 10. So the neutron number, same. Electrons number, also same. Therefore, answer is D. Okay, next. Question 2. Which process has the largest enthalpy change per mole? So you need to know from this, uh, this uh, answer or for this, uh, um, uh, this process. So we know that all these process, they are uh, ionization. Because the, the, all these uh, ions, they tend to remove electrons. So this is ionization. And we need to know which proton or the nuclear attraction is the greatest. So first, you need to know aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, and the sulfur ion. So these four uh, elements, they are the successive elements means after aluminum will be silicon, after silicon will be phosphorus, after phosphorus will be sulfur. Means sulfur is going to have uh, more protons. So the proton number of the sulfur since is more, therefore attraction towards the electrons is greater. So we know that the sulfur ion, this one, S6 positive, it's going to have a greater attraction towards the electrons. And one thing that you need to know 
is all these four ions they have the same electron configuration iso electronic configuration which is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and the electrons that remove here all this is going to depends on how strong of the nuclear attraction stronger the nuclear attraction or more proton therefore harder for the electrons to remove when the electrons harder to remove means it's going to use more energy to to remove the electrons so therefore we know that the s6 positive is going to use more energies to release the electron and we know that it's going to have the largest enthalpy change per mole so answer confirm is c okay that's all thank you